Um, we're doing today. We're going to do the um, driver side uh, cup holder. So um, we include a set of instructions um, for the guys that buy our um, the pairs or the, you know the sets of um, kits. Um, it's all documented in there what to do. Uh, we're going to start off with the um, the driver side. Yep. Okay, so start by pulling the weather seal off. Just lay it to the side there, <clears throat> and the, the easiest thing I found was to actually, um, in removing this side panel, is grab it by the, the bottom here, and um, that'll actually pop out. So I'll come down to here, like this, see, just like so, and that'll just, if you stick your fingers behind that, you'll pop all the clips out. Just carefully do it all the way up, like so. Uh, we've only got one more clip to go up top, like that, that's it, and one more clip, there we go, so all those six clips are disengaged, just throw that to the side there, and that'll expose um, the 7mm uh, trim bolt here, and um, then we'll, the next process now is to move the, the front fascia panel, so we'll do that next. Okay, so just release this uh, bolt here. It's a seven mil socket. We'll do the job. It's a bit tight still, so we'll have to use a socket all the way. You just pop that on the floor. Uh, we want to remove this panel here, which is under the steering column. So if you just grab that from behind there and there, um, pop that out. There we go, like that. Um, there's another clip here, like that. And a couple of clips over this side. And that should pop out, there we go. And one more, which is down the bottom. Like that. Okay, so it says to disconnect this um, electrical connector if you, you're going to totally remove it, but you shouldn't have to. You should be able to just let that hang down there like that because um, all we're going to be uh, doing is uh, gaining access to a couple of bolts under here. So the next thing we'll do is pull this panel off. Um, so let's do that. With the um, upper panel, what we have to do here is uh, if, grab a trim tool, uh, get that behind that upper trim, just to give yourself enough um, room to get your fingers behind here. And then simply just pull forward towards yourself. And that will disengage the, the upper panel. Next thing while you're over here is you can actually um, pull these two trim clips, these little clips behind here, so these little, little tabs, just disengage those. Um, at the same time as pulling this uh, front panel to the rear direction and that'll disengage the upper panel. Okay, so uh, disengage, we've disengaged this side, now disengage this side and again just uh, put your fingers behind the panel and give it a bit of a pull. Make sure these little clips, clips are disengaged on the side and pull. There we go, so that's done. There we go, so that's uh, totally released now. And that'll, that'll allow us um, access to the two bolts that uh, release this um, container down here. Okay, so we want to um, undo these bolts here. Uh, I don't know if you can put the camera there, you got that? Yep. So, undo these bolts. So it's not, not entirely necessary to pull this whole panel off, but you can. Uh, if you want to do that because you've lost some clips or whatever, you can, um, on top of the steering column here, you can pop this little panel upwards. So that'll actually just pop up, see, like that. Um, and, then, um, you can, and then you'll be able to remove this whole thing. So we'll keep on undoing this. Should 
be another one under here. There we go, that one underneath. still that one. These plastic clips really hang on. Okay, so this little container should just um, pop out. Little, little clip behind here, there we go, so that just pops out and that'll come come out of there. So yeah, that, that little clip there just engages into the back. Okay, so the next thing I guess is um, uh, reverse procedure, uh, just make sure that's shut for now. Um, that'll go back in, this is the new cup holder, so we want to pop him back up in there, that'll just pop in like so. We want to put the two screws back in so there's number one screw and number two screw okay so we'll do those things up and again if you've got a, an electric driver it might make things a bit quicker Just remember you only need two and a half newton meters or well, just a very just a very light pressure to do them up they're only a plastic trim screw so you don't want to over tight them or uh, damage the thread okay so just a little little bit of a nip up there let's do this one just nipped up there and then we want to allow, align this panel back up again so I'll just uh, hop up here <clears throat> and um, let's align this panel back up so get it back in a position and it'll just snap into place so just push it like so like that same this side like that make sure it's all back in this uh, if you've if you disengage the one above the, the column just pop that back in as well okay so that's back in these little clips are engaged on the side they're good and we'll just test the holder and make sure it you know it operates make sure nothing's damaged functioning okay the alignment's good they're looking pretty good there and then we can put this screw back in so let's put him back in Okay, just a light bit of tension on that and that's all back together okay so that's all uh, that's all sweet um, I guess the next thing you could probably do here is um, you can re reinstall this lower uh, lower trim panel so let's do that that's on a hinge so that's a, quite easy to uh, get back up into position like that to snap it all in and that was so easy that's nice <clears throat> and then the last thing we've got to do is get this panel back in so, um, so we'll do that now. So with this, you just uh, 
just to line the little tabs up in there. Start from the top maybe, clip it in, like so. And just push it, you'll hear them snap in. One there, and we're all good, that's nice. And then the last thing we need to do is put the trim, uh, the uh, weather seal back on. So just uh, go around, popping that back on. Just give it a light thud. Just to make sure that it goes on properly. Make sure it's all engaged and we're done and that concludes the uh, installing the right hand side or driver's side cup holder so today we're going to um, fit the cup holder for the um, passenger side for the left hand side and we start off by removing the have a seal, the door seal there. Let's put that to the side. And what we want to do here is uh, get under, just put your fingers under here. And the best thing we found is pull, pull start pulling the trim off uh, in that direction. Okay, so towards the outside of the car, you might need a little bit of initial grunt to get that off. But uh, once you've got under that, the rest of them will pop out. Like so. Go. nice and easy just put that to the side <clears throat> um, what I found here is just maybe drop the glove box compartment because we want to have to have uh, access to one of the screws here okay so the next thing is grab your 7 mil socket and you can undo this side bolt screw out all right so the next thing we want to do here is um, remove this whole top panel here so um, the, the air vent and all this panel is is one piece <clears throat> so what you can do here is uh, the first thing grab your, your trim removal tool just to gain access behind um, behind this now what I did find is if you go up under under there like so and and use that tool to lever the first clip off you can hear that just, just disengage then there are a few clips along here there's another one and i just heard that clip go behind the dashboard so don't be alarmed about that that's um it's what happens the little clips do come off okay so i want to get under here and we want to pull that this whole panel towards us to disengage it. Now I just want to get in between here. It's very difficult sometimes. Okay, so you just give it a bit of a sharp pull. And I heard another, another clip go. Okay. There you go, they all pop out everywhere. For some reason, they uh, it's only the passenger side that really pops out. It must be the style of clip they're using, perhaps. Uh, but um, there you go. And there we go, that's that panel. So, um, you've got two trim clips here. Sometimes they stay engaged. Uh, if they do, just pull them off. Um, out of here and, pu and put them back on here. The little blue clips, again, um, you'll probably find them scattered all, scattered all around the place. So just uh, just find them and pop them back on to the panel. And the ones that have stayed engaged in here, you'll have to remove those. Just um, be very careful when you're doing that. You wanna make sure that you don't accidentally um, have them fall behind the console or anything like that. Now. 
Okay, so this this panel here, just disengage the two two um, tabs on the side here. So you're gonna have to disengage that one, and you're gonna have to disengage the other one. There we go. So that's that's starting to come off now, and just give that a bit of a sharp pull, and you'll hear the clips disengage there. Um, I found um, there's the two screws up here. If you disengage those. Okay. I found the best thing here is grab behind behind this panel and give it a bit of a sharp pull. Like so, make sure these clips are disengaged and they should be able to pull out. So there, that panel's just come out now. And we want to be able to retrieve those other clips. So let's pull this off, like so. And we're gonna to have to, you know, put some, um, trim clips back in so we'll do that in a minute all right let's retrieve these plastic clips that fell out earlier on and put them back on here all right Two. All right, and this this will just pop out. So just hold it by the back here and give it a bit of a, a sharp pull, and that should come out like that. There we go. Got it out. So that's uh, that's out. And what we want to do is put the the cup holder back in its position, and it'll just simply clip in like so. Um, reinstall the bolts. It looks pretty horrific at the moment. It looks like half the dashboard is apart, but um, it, it's just like Tupperware, so it just still snaps together. And that's just the way it is these days. Okay, so just nip that up to the nice light two and a half newton meters as the factory specified. Okay, nice and light there. Just test it, make sure it's good and we haven't bound anything up. It's all good. So the next thing we want to do now is put this back. Okay, so we want to replace this panel back on. So what we do here is just uh, line him back up again. There's, there's actually guide pins on this panel so you can um, get it into position. Get into position and then just snap it in like so do that and make sure all the clips on the side here uh, engage and just go around and make sure it's firmly in place like so and then we'll put the panel screws back back in so we got one two and three one on the side here don't forget that one Do that up nice and light to the uh, 
two and a half newton, uh, newton meters that they want. This one here is done, nice and light. Once this one's done up, we can put the top trim cover on, okay, so it's nice and light, it's all nice and tight there, cup holder still works, yep, it's beautiful, feels good, and then we can put this top panel on, okay, so that'll be the last thing we do, um, so let's hang that now, there's some little hangers here, so um, what that does there is, it, what they want you to do there is hang it, like so, so hang it, and then push it in like that okay so that's um nice and nice and firm and then the last thing here is the side trim panel let's get that back into position and that'll just just locate the clips pop the first one in make the job easier then go along and push the rest in like, like so there we go, nice, there we go, spot on. And then the last thing here is just pop the seal on. Remember to give a bit of a, a firm thud around the perimeter. Like so. Just make your full pinch weld hold onto the steel, and that's pretty good. Just make sure that you're um, just above here. If you have a look under here, just make sure that this rubber seal doesn't, you know, end up behind the, the trim. So you may have to get your fingers behind it and just go along there, like so. Just make it spot on. There we go, and that's it. That concludes the passenger side cup holder.